I am very, very much honored to be here in front of so many people, and I want to start by thanking uh, Jetro Mitsui Fujisan, uh, the, um, uh, the Tokyo Metropolitan, and Meiji as well. This, is, this would not have been possible without you, so thank you very, very much. I'm, I'm looking very specifically at a few people over there who have been very, very helpful, so thank you. Um, I'm supposed to talk to you about Techstars to start with. So, uh, for those of you who don't know who Techstars is, we are uh, the world's most active pre-seed investors. You can see all the data here. And we were founded in 2006. Uh, we were founded under uh, three beliefs. Number one, we believe that entrepreneurs are a force of good. Number two, we believe that collaboration drives innovation because no one succeeds alone. And number three, we believe that great ideas come from anywhere because talent is everywhere but opportunity is not. And we believe that Techstars is here to help bring more opportunities to, to founders all around the world. We started with one single accelerator 16 years ago. Uh, we built that accelerator in Boulder, Colorado, in the United States. Today, we operate a network of 54 accelerator programs all around the world in 38 cities and 14 countries. Uh, we do that in Silicon Valley, but we also do that in New York, in Boston, in London, in Riyadh, in Lagos, in Nigeria, and as of today, in Tokyo. And that's why I'm here, because I'm very, very excited to be announcing that we're launching in Tokyo officially. This is our portfolio. Our uh, portfolio contains 4,120 companies with a cumulative market cap of over $100 billion. 20 of them are valued over a billion dollars. That's what they call unicorns. We prefer to call them dragons at Techstars, but you can call them unicorn if you want. 107 of them are valued over $100 million or more, and this is just the beginning, by the way. I'm hoping that it, we're going to uncover a lot of them here in Tokyo, here in Japan. And they cover pretty much every sector that you can think of, from aerospace and defense to fintech, deep tech, climate tech, and Web3. Um, over the past 12 months, application to our programs have doubled. So we have a lot of people applying to Texas program. While our standards have remained very, very high, uh, most of our program have an acceptance rate of 1% or less. So it's very, very competitive to go into a program. And the reason why we have had so many, uh, so many applications is because, one, there's a lot more people who are now looking for a job because big startup, big tech companies have unfortunately let go of quite a few people. So now they're thinking about becoming entrepreneurs. But the second, reset, the second reason we believe is because there's been a fundamental reset of the venture capital industry over the last 18 months. And with much less capital flowing from investors to venture firms, which has led in turn to a huge squeeze in, on the amount of funding available to startup. And that's why accelerators like ours are so important. For investors, accelerators are more important than ever because picking pre-seed investment is actually really, really hard. These startups are so early in their journey that VC have few, if any, reliable metrics to go on. I mean, often we invest in like two people, a dog, and a garage working on something that has really no data to back up. Uh, a network like Techstars basically removes the pain for the investors, for the early stage investors, because we do a lot of the vetting process uh, for them. For founders, on top of funding, what we do provide is this three months entrepreneurial boot camp experience with a lot of mentors. And at Texters currently, this is the latest number, but I'm sure it's, it's changing pretty much every day. We have 3,999, not 4,000, 3,999 active mentors. So people who have actively mentored a Texters portfolio companies over the, last, over the last 12 months. And that leads to pretty remarkable results. If you look at this number, 74% of Texters companies raise capital within three years of their accelerator program. And that's more than any other accelerator program in the world. 
31% of Texture's companies exit within eight years of their accelerator program. Again, more than any other accelerator program in the world. And for corporate, university, and government partners, accelerators offer early access to the next innovation waves. The reason why we partner with so, with so many giants around the world is because we give them first access to a lot of industries. So just, just to give you three examples, we invested in food tech in 2008. We invested in the future of work way before COVID and way before anyone was talking about working from home, which was 2009. And blockchain, I'm sure now you all know what blockchain is, but in 2013, no one was talking about blockchain. And we did our first investment in blockchain in 2013, more than 10 years ago. Um, this is this is why um, this is why we do partner with so many people because we we are usually the first one to bring innovation uh, in front of them, and that brings me to one of my favorite countries in the world, Japan. Um, I want to talk about my personal story and why I love this country so much. I've visited many many times Japan. My brother lives here. He's been living here for 11 years now. Uh, but I also have a personal story because when I was the CEO of Ozone, which is known as the Amazon of Russia, uh, I had the good fortune to bring in Rakuten as a shareholder. Miketen Isan was the first person to invest in the company I was running, and thanks to Miketen Isan, uh, I was able to raise more money. So I have a very, very uh, special relationship to Japan, and I am very, very grateful for this amazing, amazing country. I do believe that this country this country is absolutely incredible, and I could not be more excited now as the CEO of Techstars to see Techstars being invited to be part of the ongoing efforts to foster more tech innovation, support more Japanese entrepreneurs, and connect them with the rest of the world, as you heard a few minutes before. I don't need to tell you that Japan economy is a global juggernaut. This, this is the third largest in the world. Most of the people I know in Europe and in the US do not realize how big Japanese economy is. And it's pretty phenomenal. And then on top of that, he has this incredible corporate financial industrial base and so many outstanding uh, university graduates. The education in Japan is absolutely uh, top, top notch. We at Techstars see a massive opportunity for Japan to catch up to many of its global counterparts when it comes to the volume of tech startups. So I've just, say, I've just mentioned earlier, Japan is the third largest economy of, in the world, but it ranks as number 18 in the Global Startup Ecosystem Index in 2023. To me, when I look at this number, what I see is opportunity. What I see is potential. Because, again, third biggest economy in the world. Japan should be at the very top of that graph. Um, Greater Tokyo, so now if you look at cities, Greater Tokyo may be ranked as the second metro center globally by GDP, but it's, it's only 14 in the startup ecosystem index. Osaka is number 128, and Kyoto is number 172. I want to change this number. I want to change this numbers with you because I think there's so much potential in every one of these cities. And I think this gap is also uh, very visible when we talk about the number of unicorns. The US has had 644 unicorns as of uh, end of October 2022. France, my country, had 24. I'm, I'm also advocating for them to create more unicorns because that's clearly not enough. But Japan had only six. And I think we can do better than that, especially because if we look at it in terms of uh, in terms of percentage, um, the U.S. has 54% of the unicorns. Japan is only 0.5%, and you are the third biggest economy in the world. And again, Textures is, is here because we believe that this number is going to be much, much, much bigger in the years to come, thanks to all the work that your government is doing and all the big corporations are doing here in, in Japan. To me, the good news is that as an economic powerhouse, Japan is very well positioned to be one of the world's leading innovation hubs, once again, because you've been, you've been that innovation driver in the past. 
And I believe that you can do that with a thriving and self-sustaining startup economy. Thanks in large part to supportive government and corporate initiatives, we see things changing. The people I know in Japan have told me how things have changed over the last five years and how many more entrepreneurs there is now in Japan. We want even more of that. We've been working in this country for a few years now. You heard it before. About 100 entrepreneurs uh, came to a program that we had, uh, we had built in, part in partnership with Jetro. Uh, and we have also built a lot, of, um, a lot of events here across Japan. 27,000 entrepreneurs and aspiring entrepreneurs have participated into Techstar Startup Weekend's events in Japan. So my colleagues and I, and you're going to meet some of them in a few minutes, we really hope to be part of that journey with you and by your side for many, many, many years to come. I heard that in Japan, nothing, uh, no project uh, needs to be uh, finished before 100 years. So I'm, I'm hoping to be here for at least 200 years. Uh, we have huge ambitions for this country. The Japanese government has spoken of its ambition to 10x the number of startups from 10,000 to 100,000. And we at Techstars uh, will support this, those efforts in any way we can, because today is just the beginning. Thank you so much for having us in your beautiful country. And with this, I'm going to welcome on stage Adam, my partner in crime, and the managing director of Tokyo, of Texter's Tokyo, who actually speaks Japanese, unlike me. Adam. <laughs>